everyone, welcome to Math and Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to find the domain and the range of a quadratic function. Alright! Let's talk about the orientation of the graph of a quadratic function. So, take note that our standard form of a quadratic function is f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, in order for you to identify whether your um, parabola will open upwards or downwards, we're just going to look at the value of a. If the value of a is greater than 0 or positive, then the parabola will open upwards. If the value of a is negative or less than 0, then the parabola will open downwards. Okay. So by looking at the value of a, the numerical coefficient of x squared, we can identify what will be the orientation of the graph of our quadratic function. Alright, now let's talk about finding the domain and the range of our quadratic function. So let's talk about domain first. It is all the x values. So what are the possible values that we can substitute to our variable x? So in this case, for a quadratic function, the domain will always be any real number, okay? So we can write it in this form, x such that x is an element of any real number. Or we can write it in a form of an interval, which is from negative infinity going to positive infinity. So we will have all possible values of x that there will be a corresponding values for y, okay? Now let's talk about the range. Yeah. For the range, it is all the y values. So here, we need to look at the orientation of the graph. So let's take note of the value of our a. So if a is greater than 0 or positive, our parabola will open upward just like this. Let's look at where is our maximum or minimum value. What is our maximum point or minimum point? So in this parabola, it opens upward, we have our minimum value or minimum point. So to get our minimum value, we will just get the y-coordinate of our vertex. So here, if we're going to observe, the graph or will be moving up. So we can say that y will be greater than or equal to our minimum value. So how do we get the value of k? We will just simply use the formula k is equal to negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a. And after getting our minimum value, it is time for us to write it in our notation. So it is going to be y such that y should be greater than or equal to our minimum value which is k. Or we can write it in, in a form of an interval, which is from k, from our minimum value, going to our positive infinity. Now, what if we have a is less than 0? What if a is negative? So in this case, it opens downward, just like this. So now let's observe our vertex. Our vertex will be located at the maximum point, maximum point value. It is the highest part of our parabola. So our k, which is our maximum value this time, will be the limit of our y. So take note that our parabola is going down. Therefore, the value of y will be less than or equal to the value of our k. And to get k, we will use our formula negative b squared plus 4ac all over or a. And then from there, after getting k, we will place it in our in this notation, y such that y is less than or equal to k. Or from k going to negative infinity. Now let's have some examples in finding the domain and the range of our quadratic function. Alright, okay, let's have an example. For example, we're going to find the domain and the range of this function. x squared plus 4x plus 4. So in this case, we will find the domain. So take note that the domain of a quadratic function is always any real number. So we will have an answer, x such that x is an element of any real number. Or we can write it in our interval form, which is negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? 
Now let's talk about the range. So the range of a quadratic function, we first we need to identify the value of our a. So our value of a here is positive 1. Therefore, it is greater than 0. So it will opens upward. So knowing that it opens upward, our y values will be greater than or equal to our minimum value. Now, let's use the formula of finding the y-coordinate of the vertex using negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a to get the value of k. So, let's substitute. So, we will have negative 4 squared plus 4 times 1 times 4 all over 4 times 1. Let's simplify. We will have negative 16 plus 16 all over 4. And then, Combine like terms, we will have k is equal to 0 over 4. Simplify. 0 divided by 4, we will have k is equal to 0. So now that we have our k, our minimum value, we can now we can now write this in our um, notation form, which is y such that y is greater than or equal to 0. Or we we can write it in our interval form, which is from 0 going to positive infinity. Now, let's have another example. Let's find the domain and the range of a quadratic function. a of x is equal to negative x squared plus negative 6x plus 3. So, in this case, we will find domain. So, the domain will be any real number. So, x such that x is an element of any real number. And then, we can also write it in our notation form from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, let's get our range. For our range, we must identify the value of our a. So, our a is negative 1. Therefore, it is less than 0. So, it will open downward. Therefore, the value of y will be less than or equal to our value for k. In this case, which will be our maximum value. Our vertex will be on top. So to get our k, we must now use the formula negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c to this formula. So we will have negative times negative 6 squared plus 4 times negative 1 times 3 all over 4 times negative 1. Simplifying this, we will have k is equal to negative 36 minus 12 all over negative 4. Combine like terms, we will have k is equal to negative 48 all over negative 4. Simplify, if possible, we will have k is equal to 12. Now that we have our k, we can now finalize our range. So our range will be y such that y will be less than or equal to 12. We can also write a range in interval form which is from positive 12 going to negative infinity. Okay? Okay, let's have another example. For example, we're going to find the domain and the range of this function c of x is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. So, the domain of this quadratic function will always be any real number. Therefore, x such that x is an element of real number. We can also write it in our interval form, which is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, let's talk about our range. Now, let's for our range, let's look at the value of our a. So, our a is positive 2. So, a is greater than 0. So, it opens upwards. Since it opens upward, all values of y should be greater than or equal to our k. So again, our k is our, or the y-coordinate of our vertex. Now, to get our k, we will use the formula negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a. Now, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c in our formula. So we will have negative times negative 4 squared plus 4 times 2 times 5 all over 4 times 2. Now, let's simplify. We will have k is equal to negative 16 plus 40 all over 8. Then from there, let's combine like terms. Negative 16 plus 40 is equal to 24. So, k is equal to 24 all over 8. And now, let's divide. 24 divided by 8, we will have k is equal to 
3. Now that we have our value for k or our y coordinate of our vertex, we can now write it in our notation form, which is y such that y is greater than or equal to 3. We can also write this in our interval form, which is from 3 going to positive infinity. Alright, okay, let's have our last example for today. So for example, we're going to find the domain and the range of this quadratic function. e of x is equal to negative 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. So first, let's find the domain. So the domain of any quadratic function will always be any real number. So we will have x such that x is an element of real number. Now, we can also write it in our interval form from negative infinity going to positive infinity. Now, let's talk about the range of our quadratic function. So, to get the range, let's focus on our value of a. So, our value of a is negative 3. Therefore, we can say that a is less than 0. So, the orientation of our graph will be opening downwards. Now, since it opens downwards, the value of y will be less than or equal to the value of our k. Take note that our value of k is the y-coordinate of our vertex, also known as the maximum value since it is opening downwards. Now, to find k, we will use the formula negative b squared plus 4ac all over 4a. Now, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c to our formula. We will have negative times negative 6 squared plus 4 times negative 3 times 2 all over 4 times negative 3. Let's simplify. So we will have negative 36 minus 24 all over negative 12. Now let's combine like terms. We will have negative 60 all over negative 12. Negative 60 divided by negative 12. Let's simplify. If possible, we will have k is equal to 5. Now that we have our k, which is the y coordinate of our vertex, we can now write our range y such that y is less than or equal to 5. We can also write this in interval form from positive 5 going to negative infinity. Alright. Now that you already know how to find the domain and the range of a quadratic function, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!